Hi, my name is Michelle Grabner. I'm from Senhead Healing. I'm a Reiki master and intuitive energy healer. We're going to be doing different videos about places that we see hauntings and we're going to be doing clearings and just giving you more information on how to pick up on these entities, like whether you be more likely to see, feel, hear things and put this into practice and be able to trust more what your intuition is telling you. Hello everyone, my name is Thomas Sawyer. I run angelicsupportagent.net. We're going to be investigating McDaniel's farm today, looking for any ghosts, apparitions, entities, other things that are maybe around, and we're going to do a little investigation for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. So, in one of my walks over here, I started coming down here and to me, in my mind's eye, I would see a little boy on the branch. Now, we all have our own filters, so we don't always see in detail what other people are seeing. With me, I thought my imagination. I was not really seeing a little boy, but then I came with someone else that's, that's a little bit more psychic than me or can pick up things without so many filters as I do, and also notice a little boy. So, as I film here on this branch, Try and see if you could pick up on that energy. Sometimes you feel it. Like you might feel it like on your chest. Sometimes like if you close your eyes, you might see a vision or you might see some kind of energy, something moving that doesn't seem that's not quite there, like the where the leaves are at. So try and test yourself in this part. Thomas, what do you pick up on? Because I just see like a little silhouette and I have an idea of a little boy sitting on that branch. How much detail do you pick up? I pick up over in different areas of this McDaniel's farmhouse, different energies around, specifically around that tree and the well. There seems to be someone tending that well right now that is over there that we will show you in a second. Now I'm picking up like you were saying someone working at the well. I'm just thinking someone just fell in there. <laughs> well, there's, that's the thing is there's going to be many things that people pick up when they watch these videos. We're at a very historic place. Uh, plantation. There are slaves around here, Indians. There's other energies that are attached to other people that have been through here. This is such an old place going back to 1933 and going way beyond, going back in time as well. There's so many things going on in this area. We're documenting one thing after another. Well, and we gotta keep in mind that, I mean, time passes, different things happen here. Yes. Different traumas, different energies get stuck here. So we might not be picking up something from the farm time. We might be picking up something from like 10, 20 years ago. And, it, and not everybody picks up everything. Sometimes, like I said, Thomas might pick up something that I don't pick up. But that's just our filters. Yes. Yes, if you look at it, there is also farmers tilling this area. I'm picking up around the early 19th century, maybe late 18th century. Um, in this area as well, there's also a little boy, if you were to go to this farmhouse down here. Picking up a little boy and some other energies around this chicken coop. Um, there's also some chickens around there that are still hanging around with spirits. Sometimes they hang around the area. They're not even totally sure that they're even, they think they're still alive. They're still working. I mean, there's an area where I saw a fella that was still doing his work, has no idea that he's passed. And that's what happens. I feel like. These people's energy might not be an actual like entity. It could be an energy that just gets trapped because that's what they do. And it's like a recording that just keeps happening yes. over and over. There's many documented cases, of this, such as at Kennesaw Mountain, which is very close to here as well. There's been people that have seen cannon fire and gunshots going off in the middle of the night for like five or 10 seconds and then it stops. It's a looping recording in time. It's playing over and over again. 
that's important to remember with places like this. There, there's a lot of energies that are at play here. And some of them could be in it stuck in a time loop. Because time on the other side is not always running in a straight line. It's happening all at once, whether it's the past, the present, and the future. And that's why we can record it. And Thomas, what is it that you see on the window? We definitely, it looks like a Victorian, which isn't the right era, but she's wearing clothes from my perspective, early 19th century. In this window, she's staring at us. The woman's probably in her 50s or 60s. She doesn't look very happy, but that's, she's there. This, this house is full of ghosts. This is one issue that I have with some of these ghost hunting shows and things of this nature, is that they go around and document things, but they don't clear them. Now, I don't really have the authority to clear this unless I really wanted to, and I don't want to. But there are many ghosts on this property. And a lot of times when the people are going through here, they're stirring up this stuff. And they don't realize it. How does that happen? Well, they're walking through here and they make these places and they keep them up instead of tearing them down. And yes, it's a part of history to document what's happened in history. At the same time, it's leaving a place for them where they can't pass on sometimes. Because these structures are still standing. Because there could have been anything that happened in this house. Now, from a spiritual perspective, this could be a past lifetime of someone who's already incarnated. And there's still, it's like a fractal of their higher self that's still in this house. But sometimes you have to get someone to come in and clear the area so we don't have any more issues. It's like when you move into a house. Someone may have died in that house and they could still be in that house. And you might need an expert to come in and clear the house. But there are a lot of ghosts in this house, and it would take a lot of energy expenditure for me to do it. And I probably couldn't continue the video. So as we walk along, I just wanted to add my two cents on this part. Because I thought it was very interesting as he was talking about past lives and, you know, part of our higher selves might have been stuck somewhere. There's been, there's been a few situations where I've gone through an area where I had a past life in. And somehow I recognized it and it just kind of like brought it to my attention or gave me a reminder of that time frame. And this is, this is quite interesting. It doesn't happen all the time. Okay, these are little tiny letters. I'm not really sure anybody can see this. But just to give you a brief for um, what I'm going to film. And Tom is down there He's sitting at the tenant house. We had a couple of ghosts around him. Almost feels like they're still waiting or they're just relaxing still after working or doing their own little thing. Hello everyone. The reason I am holding this out is because I am putting out rainbows of light for my own protection. There are a couple of people sitting on this couch. There is a man in the window as well to my right. And even if you were to pan over this way, there are a bunch of workers tilling the field and working on various crops that I see that are in this area as well. But as many of you can feel, there are still latent energies that are here on this porch and they're sitting around with me and I have some angels around me as well and there's just a lot of activity around here. What you looking for fella? Are you hungry? I'm not picking up much activity here. I don't know what you're picking up, Michelle. <laughs> I thought we we're just looking at a nice image. <laughs> but this is a nice image. I like it. I mean, you're looking at this old historic cars that just happened to stay frozen in time. Well, I am picking up from the past. Um, there's a little boy. I think it's a time imprint. 
from farther back sitting on top of the truck as well as in the truck. I'm picking up maybe it's two different boys, but I'm also picking up a father too. What about like further down? Because as soon as you mentioned the, the truck and the little boy sitting there, I did not pick up on that little boy. But further down where that trunk is at, you see down there? Yep. Straight ahead. What do you see? There's definitely something going on. Sometimes you don't know exactly what you're looking at. It's part of it. Sometimes you just don't know. You just sense something. You sense something's there. And it's not always something to be afraid of. Well, look at there. Go figure messenger of God. This area has a lot of lively activity going on. There's also a portal over there. So what is a portal? A portal is like a dimensional gateway. Now we're talking about on the bottom towards the, the bottom of the hill? Yeah, where I'm pointing my hand in that general vicinity. Mm -hmm. Tree down there, it's near in between two of these trees. But there's a portal in this area about right there. So there's spirits that are transversing through this area and going in and out of that portal. And there's a lot of nature spirits around here, like actual animals that are still on this property. Um, picking up a lot of chipmunks, a deer. And it's important just to pan through the area so other people can see what's going on. So, when we were walking down the trail, we saw this bridge, and it just seems like, you know, sometimes they pick up on our energy. They know, like, oh, someone is psychic, and someone can help, and they come, and they're waiting for us to help them. So there were quite a few people here, or ghosts, waiting for us at the bridge. And with this area, the thing is, is that being a psychic, being someone that clears things as well as Michelle, we're kind of beacons in a way. Other energies, ghosts, elementals, they're gonna pick up on the fact that we're here. They're gonna make themselves more apparent. I like to Let's use, see. I like to use the example of when someone is psychic, the ghost see this bright light and they're like oh they get drawn to you like moth to a flame and they come over to you so you know if you have a house with a few psychics can you imagine how much activity you might get yeah. <laughs>